For his next illusion, the magician will employ this curious looking device that has a long plunger on one end. Resting on a thin table, this large box is shown to be completely empty. Both the front and back sides are open, so we can see everything. The magician calls in one of his beautiful assistants. Looking at her costume, we can almost see everything. He wants us to take a good look at the girl, because she's about to get inside that box. A perfect fit, just like her costume. The magician calls in his other assistants, and the fun begins. They draw shades in the back and the front of the box and secure them to the face of the plunger. The line drawing on the front is a fair depiction of the girl inside with a little artistic license here and there. We get the idea. He hands the girl a red silk handkerchief as a lovely parting gift. Whenever a girl gets into a magical box, we can assume something is about to happen to her. As she continues to wave bye-bye, the magician backs up to the end of the plunger. Without warning, he pushes the plunger forward, presumably crushing everything in its path. But the girl is still waving. There's barely enough room for her inside. She pulls the handkerchief into the box, and the magician pushes the plunger all the way forward completely crushing the girl. As we can see, there is nothing left inside the box except for the long plunger. The girl has been completely flattened. Her lovely co-workers don't seem to mind. Caddy. The magician withdraws the plunger, and we can see that nothing untoward has happened to the line drawing of the girl. But will her amazing lines fare so well? The assistants rotate the box so we can see that the shade and back has also been restored to its original condition. And now to get a look inside. He gives a magical wave and commands one of the assistants to open the shade. There's the girl, and she's not the least bit flattened. Another incredible illusion that demands a credible explanation. So how did the magician crush his assistant flat as a pancake? As usual, the secrets are inside the box. The first secret lies deep within the base. It's actually much deeper than it appears. Closer inspection reveals a trap door in the false bottom and a secret compartment below that is nearly a foot deep. See? Lots of room to store a girl who is physically fit. The left side of the box isn't solid. It's made of spandex, concealing another hiding place. When the illusion begins, the girl climbs into the box and the shade is drawn. But with the shade open, we can see how she quickly opens the trap door and slides her legs into the compartment in the base. She presses her back against the spandex, which allows her torso to hide in the side. Snug as a bug. The magician gives her a handkerchief to wave through a hole in the top of the box. This creates the illusion that she is still relaxing in the center of the box. But without the shade, we can see that she is already in her hiding spot by the time the handkerchief is placed into her grip. She pulls it down seconds before the magician drives the plunger all the way into the box, making it appear that she has been completely crushed. Without the shade, we can see that the plunger can slide all the way in without harming her, even though it is pressing tightly against her. The secret here is that the face of the plunger is also made of spandex. When it presses against her, it's like she's being crushed between two soft pillows. Nice. All that's left to complete the illusion is to reverse the action. 
The plunger is withdrawn, and the girl immediately climbs back out of the base. She replaces the false bottom and gets ready for the moment of her big reveal. And that's how to put a crush on a girl without breaking her heart. <laughs>